Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designingtechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add borders to your modules using the Divi theme. Let's enable the visual builder. I've got two little blurb modules up the top. I'm going to go into the first one here. Dark tab for a module, green tab for a row, blue tab for a section. Just hit the cog, whichever one you want to go into. And borders can be added to sections, rows and modules. Once inside the module, let's go over to our design here. And if you scroll down, you'll find borders. Simply select that one and it'll open this. To add a border, we're working on this blurb module right here. Simply go down, select if you want to do all four sides at once, just the top, right, bottom, or left. Once I add a bit of border width, you'll see the border appear there, and you can make it as big or as small as you want. I think the default color, color is usually black, but you can change it to whatever color you want down below. Now, if you want to add a corner to it, just simply give it a radius up here. It's in pixels. So if I give it sort of 10 pixels, it'll give it slightly rounded corners. If you give it a large amount, like 50 pixels, it'll give it much more rounded corners. And again, as with most Divi modules, if you don't like what you've done, simply select it and delete it. It'll return to normal. Now I don't know if you noticed there, but when I did this first one here, it did all of the other ones, each corner. If you unselect this, you can give different amounts on each one. You can get some crazy shapes going on if you like that sort of thing. And you see some sites that like using interesting shapes like this. You can do what you want pretty much. And again, if I check this, select, we can take it back to normal again. Let's take this down to a more reasonable level now. If we take it away altogether, we can just put one on the top and one on the bottom perhaps. So it's fairly flexible. You can also make your modules into sort of complete circles if you want to. Let's just save this one and we'll work on the next one. I'll go into this one. But to make it into a complete circle, you want to make sure the height and width are equal. So let's go in here. I'll move this out of the way. I'm going to go into design and just so we can make it into a circle, I'm going to go into sizing. I'm going to give it a fixed width and a fixed height. So let's go down, I'll give it a fixed width of say 400 pixels. It's put in percent there. Select the percent and I'm going to change that to pixels. There we go, we've got something that's 400 pixels wide. Let's give it a similar height. There we go. Now what we can do, because we've changed the height, I can put it back in the middle of the column that it's sitting in, if you want it to be nicely centrally aligned. Now let's go back to our borders. I'll close up the sizing, go into the border here. And to give it a nice round appearance, we can check the link, make sure we're doing all four sides at once, and we can use a percentage. And let's say give it 50%. And as you can see, we've got a nice rounded module there and that's a nice little effect and of course you can add borders to your circle there so there we go guys that's a brief overview of borders they're really useful you can make some great little effects and designs with it especially if you use a bit of artistic license and give it some round corners and what have you once you're done as always save save the page changes And let's exit the Visual Builder. 
So there you go guys, there's how to add borders to your modules and don't forget you can do that on sections and rows also. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.